And you're right about the time of a father's passing away, when my brother, my sister, and I went to Urissa for his cremation and his ceremonies. Wherever we went, the people said, please, one of you, remain in Urissa. Please enter politics. Your father gave us courage. He gave us hope. But before you ever entered politics, was there a moment when you had second thoughts, when there was hesitation, doubt? You mean this time, as I've got into politics, yeah. there was no time. Because the people's feeling, then the Janta Dal Party in the state, they requested me to stand. Also in the center, the Janta Dal wanted me to stand. So you never had any doubt about actually doing it? No. Once I decided, I was going to do it. I did it. Okay, then let me, let me, with your permission, turn not nasty, but a little cynical. You must have read in the papers people saying, Naveen Patnaik's just another dynasty. He's a great statesman, a great politician's son, stepping into daddy's shoes, stealing daddy's advantages without having really earned them. How do you answer them? Well, let me tell you this. I think I, what I have got is not my father's privileges but his responsibilities. And also, remember when you talk about dynasties, of course, in the, the election, in the, uh, my constituency of Aska, of course they voted a great deal for their love and regard for father. But on the other hand, my father was not in power when I entered politics, and he never groomed any of his children for politics. And when I fought the election, the election was against a party in power in the state. So when you read in the newspapers that they're comparing you to Rajiv or Sanjay or Indira who succeeded Nehru and they're saying that the Patnaiks have done the same thing, how do you reply to them? Well, they were all groomed by their parents or their mother for politics and when they were in power. That's not the case with me. I was never groomed to be in politics. That sort of nepotism my father did not believe.